In this short video, we are going to talk about the similarity matrix analysis. This analysis is used to determine the similarity of amino acid sequences between two amino acid chains. Let's say you have an amino acid chains A and B, and you assign the amino acid number to the amino acid sequence. Starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you want to compare the amino acid sequences between chain A and chain B. You want to compare amino acid A1 with B1, A1 with B2, A1 with B3, A1 with B4. Keep going. But these comparisons don't tell you anything. We have to make use of a two-dimensional coordinates. On the y-axis of the coordinate, you have amino acid chain A. On the x-axis is chain B. And the numbers are the amino acid number. Back to the comparisons we just made. If amino acid A1 is the same as one of the amino acid on chain B, you put a dot on the two-dimensional matrix. For example, let's say this portion a456678 is the same as this portion on chain B, 104.5678. After you finish the comparison between A1 with every single amino acid on chain B, you start to compare A2 with every single amino acid on chain B. When you are at location A4, you do the similar comparison, which is A4 to B1, a4 to B2. So when you are comparing A4 to B104, as we just said, they are the same. Since they are the same, you put a dot on the two-dimensional matrix, 4 and 104. It's about here. And then you keep going. A4 and uh, B105, A4 and B106. After you down with A4, you start with A5. A5 is the same as B105, so you put another dot. And you know A6 is the same as B106. A7, B107, A8, B108. So you have this line segment here. Let's say you have another sequence on chain B starting from 204 to 208 is the same as A4 to A8. So A4 is the same as 204, put a dot. A5 is the same as two B205. A6, the same as 206 on B7 and 8. So you have another line segment here. So what if amino acids from A104 to A108 is the same as B104 to B108. You will have another line segment here at the corresponding coordinates. So this is how you construct a similarity matrix. And from the number of line segments, and you can see the similarity between amino acid chain A and amino acid chain B. So what if you are comparing an amino acid chain with itself? Let's take DHP receptor as an example. DHP receptor is the voltage-gated calcium channel. We know that DHP receptor has four repeating segments in itself. Say you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As we just discussed, if the two segments are similar. You will see a line segments on the matrix. This segment is the same as this one, this one, this one, and this one. Therefore, you will see nine segments here. One, two, three, four. The same logic goes with this segment. It is repeated four times in the HP receptor. Therefore, you have one, two, three, four. Let's keep going. Have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what is this red diagonal line? Because you're comparing the sequence with itself. 
by definition, number one is the same as the number one on its replicate. Number two is the same as number two on its replicate. Number three is the same as number three. For this reason, there are dots at one one two two three three, and such on. That is why there is a diagonal line when you are comparing a sequence with itself. That's all for this video. I hope it helps. See you next time.